Yes, that's me. How do you do? My associates and I are over and over. I don't. I spent so much money on. I. We now have a, a big. That's what the. But now the. Ah, why does. Would, hold on. Huh? Let me see. That's right. Yes, it's true. Mm. Right. I finished. Re furthermore, and given and even again. higher. Oh no. Uh oh. However, if you really have to, whichever we accept that if we. Uh. Please. However much now that it's come. Mm, yes, legally speak. So hold on a moment. What did I feel? Well, I remember that the gemstones set into the pins were perfectly smooth to the touch, like the finest my family has seen much jade pass through its hands in the past, so I am quite certain of my judgment in this matter. Hmm. Smooth to the touch. Finest quality jade. Make the matter? No, it's nothing. I just need to re-examine a few things. Let's head over to Mr. Crossel's. Ah, Miss Yanfei, you've returned. With Miss Jichao and To, too, I see. How are the hairpins? I trust you're quite satisfied with them? Hmm. About that. You lost them? Are you serious? Do you have any idea how expensive they were? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Truly, I am. I'll pay the compensation as per our contract. Every last Mora. Mora? <laughs> Do you have any idea what I had to go through to get my hands on that Smaragdus Jadeite? I... I just don't... <laughs> forget it. Talking won't bring them back. Since Miss Yanfei is here, I suppose we can just have her estimate the amount that needs to be paid. No problem. But before I can give an official estimate, I'll need to do a little market research. Ah, yes. And if I may just confirm again... It was, in fact, genuine Smaragdus Jade Eye inlaid into the hairpins, correct? Of course! Genuine article guaranteed, or I pay back ten times the value. All right, understood. I'll conduct some market research, and once I'm back, I'll provide an official assessment of the sum owed by Mr. Chow in compensation. Please wait here, Mr. Crossel. Thank you very much. <laughs> How could she lose my hairpins? She'd better pay every last mora that they're worth. Looks like I'll have to find some way to raise that money. Please wait, Mr. Chow. I have something to discuss with you. It's not convenient to speak here, so let's find somewhere that we can sit and talk in more detail. Mm. Okay, that's actually rather close, so I can just do this. Mm. Get that HP boost without spending anything on food. Because, like, going to statues, like, ends the fight and you have to start the fight all over again. don't want to end the broadcast so early but it keeps telling me that I got disconnected from the server like my Wi-Fi keeps shutting off and it's like oh nope can't broadcast anymore can't stream nope no sorry Ugh. one of my PS4 was like my phone or even the Wi-Fi just started being fickle I could just turn it off and, just, and I'd still have the internet I would just go by reception my reception ain't gonna change 
They're like real people or whatever. No, where was I? Oh yeah, the quest. One thing I want to make sure though. Hmm. about Benning and Jade? Ooh, this spot's nice. Miss Yunfei, what is this about? Are you... Are you here to tell me how much I owe? No. What I wanted to talk about is, there is a chance that the Orin laid on those hairpins may not be Smaragdus Jadeite after all. already sneaked up and found them? Obviously not. I'm no adventurer, let alone a member of the guild. I don't run thankless, time-consuming errands for a living. Let's just say I made some deductions. I don't know if Granny told you this, but Smaragdus Jadeite is found deep underground and contains very concentrated elemental energy. If mere mortals come into contact with it, well, they'll be sick in the best case. And in the worst case, they could even experience a dramatic change of personality. It most certainly would not be smooth to the touch. Miss Your Chow, did you at any time feel unwell while the hairpins were in your possession? No, not at all. I felt perfectly fine the whole time. Not even the slightest bit unwell. I didn't feel anything special at all, in fact. Hmm, now that is strange. I noticed earlier that there were elemental traces in Mr. Crossell's vicinity. If I have deduced oh, correctly, shoot. he may still have the Smaragdus Jadeite in his possession. Oh shoot! I didn't think to use my elemental sight, holy cow! If that's the case, we should go confront him right now and expose his dirty scam right to his face! Absolutely not. If we were to confront him now, there's no way he would admit to it. Eventually, he would find some argument to compel us to leave. And then, he'd throw the Smaragdus Jadeite into the sea the moment we were gone. After that, he would simply insist that Mr. Chow pay up per the contract. He would lose nothing. Meanwhile, we would have to look under every stone in Liyue, hoping and praying that the hairpins do actually still exist somewhere in this world. A very vivid description. So vivid that Paimon thinks it might be experience talking. Oh, it certainly is. I've seen my fair share of situations like this, and brute force methods are certainly one way of resolving them. Fortunately, I have far more elegant solutions at my disposal. I'll share them with you in due course. W well then, since you're so experienced in dealing with problems like this, perhaps 